Hi everybody, it's Journey, and I'm back again, and I'm unfortunately Tiara isn't here with us today, so I'm just going to have to ride solo with this one. Um, today's topic is approaching girls. So, you know, when approaching a girl, come with your A-game, you know, like, no girl wants a dude that doesn't have confidence. Like, if you approach me and you're like, yo, girl, you know, I was thinking that you know, and you probably wasn't thinking this or nothing, but, like, if maybe, like, you and me, like, you know, like, you know, you, I'm going to stop you right there, and I'm going to tell you no. I don't know, and I'm going to give you another chance, and this is just straightforward. You have to be straightforward. Go ahead. Try it again. Get your words out. You know, you could do it. Go. And, of course, in the back of my mind, I'm already like, no, I'm sorry. But you give people second chances. They deserve it. So I'm going to let you try again. And that's always. No girl wants to do that's like not confident about himself. Like, I don't know. It's annoying. It is annoying. Like, I'm not saying be cocky. But come with your A game, you know. And another thing, like when you approach a girl, I mean, you may know that you look good. But don't approach a girl like you think you're better than her. Because no girl wants to do that just thinks he's, like, I think I'm the, you know, like, no, like, no, dude, tone it down a bit, like, approach her on some humble stuff, and just, you know, be real, but don't be real hood, don't be real ratchet, like, where's salt, girl, like, no, don't do that, don't do that at all, like, and another thing, when you approach a girl, make sure your breath doesn't stink, because if you approach me in your breath stinks, first of all, this is first thing. When you're trying to get with somebody, I don't care what anybody says. You look at their looks first. Like, it's not personality first. It's looks. And you need to look real, real good if you're trying to get with a girl. And, I mean, that's for any girl with standards and morals. And me, personally, I'm going to look at the outside, da 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 but as soon as you start talking, I'm about to be all up in your mouth. Like, what? Let me see your teeth. What? What? And if you got something in between those two big teeth right there, oh, no. And if you got teeth and it's like, oh, they overlapping each other like a mountain range, oh, no. Oh, no. And, I mean, some people can't help that, like we said before, but, oh, no. Mm -mm. I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, I don't care how beautiful you are if that mouthpiece is gross what boy what oh no can't do it can't do it and that's really mean to say probably no that's some straightforward type stuff i can't do it approach me please don't have your friend approach me because this is what happens this is the scenario usually it's the cute dude approaches you the one that you've been looking at in the group the whole time right so he's coming over, and you think he wants to talk to you. Like, okay, he got the hand, he got the the double take that you were doing when you smiled and stuff. So you're facing your hair real quick, breath check. <laughs> mm. right. So he comes over, and he's like, this is you. And he goes, what's up? And you're like, yo, what's up? You know, what's up, or whatever. And he was like, so, you know, I was, like, I was over there with my boys and stuff. And, like, in the back of your head, you, a girl is already thinking, like, yeah, dude, just ask me. Yeah, yes, you can, you can have my number. You can have my number. Like, just hurry up and ask. And then he goes, you know, I was over there with my dudes or whatever. And my nigga, the dude back there with the green snapback on, the one over there, yeah, the dark-skinned one, yeah, he, he wanted your number. Oh, okay, so you didn't want my number. Okay, so this is when you play along. Oh, which one? Oh, oh, the one over there? Okay, yeah. No, it's okay, I have a boyfriend. Like, that's what, she, that's what a girl's gonna say, and she knows dang well she ain't got no boyfriend. Or she's gonna be like, oh no, this is my girlfriend right here. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't go that way. Don't do it. Don't do that. Now that's that's a girl's explanation for like everything. Like if the ugly dude approaches her, no, I have a boyfriend. I'm sorry, or she's my girlfriend. You know, like dude, if you hear those words, nine times out of ten she's lying, 
you've messed up or you're ugly or your mouth is ugly. Yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, that's the truth. Have some swag, please. Like, be cute. Know you're cute. Because if you're not cute and, you know, and we can't take a picture together and look cute in the picture, we're probably not meant to be together because I want to be that couple that's, like, cute in pictures and cute in person. Because, you know, nowadays, people are only cute in their TwitCon. You approach a girl, right? And so, you know, you walk up to her or whatever, and, you know, you think you're spitting your game, and, you know, like, you're probably saying all the right things, and she's staring at you or whatever, and, like, you kind of you kind of feel like she's not really getting what you're saying because she's just staring at one part of your face. Most likely it's a booger. Don't approach me with boogers in your nose. Like, if you got that one little booger, that'd be hiding, like, right there, like, and it might be dry too, like right, like right there, right there. No, I can't do it. And me, knowing who I am, like I'm probably gonna be like, sweetheart, you got a little lefty in your righty. You know, you, you might wanna get that one out. And then I'm gonna give you another chance. No, I might not. No, I'll give you another chance, but in my phone, like your contact might be like booger boy. Because I'm going to remember you as the booger boy. Like you had a booger in your nose. You approach me, don't approach me with a flip phone. Please don't do it. Don't approach me with your friend's phone either. Trying to get my number. That sucks. If you approach me, approach me with a phone. Don't like approach me and be like, you know, can I get your number? And then ask me to write it down on a piece of paper. No, you can't have my number. Because it's pointless. And it kind of ruins a lot of stuff, you know? Just That's just common sense. Um, if you're going to approach a girl, just approach her. Just do it. Like, be yourself. And, of course, there's no manual that tells you, like, how to approach girls. And this is for all dudes. Like, but at this point, it should probably be common sense. That's basically the basis of our video today. Thank you for watching Approaching Girl. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at Jurnte, J-U-R-N-T-E-E, -E, and follow Tiara at T-I-A-U-R-A -A underscore. Don't forget to call me right and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Oh, okay, let me stop with the body. Like, I'm a rapper. I'm a, I'm a rapper. I'm going to have to tell you something quick. Snap up. All right. It's like I'm eating this. All right. My topic. Oh, okay, okay. Hi, everybody. It's Journey. And, hey, yo, girl, I can get your number. I'm probably going to look at you and probably any other girl and be like, no. Thanks, though. Thank you, though. Thank you for offering. Okay, wait, let me start. They just won that part. Okay, wait. I just went blank. All right. Hey, yo, girl. I don't mean no disrespect or nothing, but uh, did you know you birthed?